All right. So um, we have Cancer, Sun, Moon, and as well uh, Rising, um, Monkey Tower reading February 2020 on our hands. And um, if any of you guys is interested into a to get in touch with me for a uh, for a personal reading, uh, you can check out the description down below, and uh, there you are going to find a, a link to uh, my website. So that being said, moving into the reading uh, straight away, eight card spread and the first one here is going to show up the topic of your moon cancer and that will be the page of swords, followed by the next one here which stands as the energies supporting the topic itself and that will be the ten of swords. Then the third card it is the challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the month, hopefully successful here, we do have the ace of swords. Uh, then it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the month and you should. Uh, that will be the seven of uh, wands. Afterwards, it is how other people are going to see you and what kind of an impression you are going to give into your co-workers, for example, social circle, beloved ones and so on and so forth. That is to be the queen of cups. Uh, then it is uh, what is going to help uh, your long-term goal or in other words could be taken as what is going to improve your circumstances throughout the month We do have the Knight of Pentacles uh, Follow next it is what is going to hurt your uh, Long-term goals or is going to deteriorate your current circumstances that will be the ten of cups and followed next and last card here it is the guidance that uh, Tara is offering to you throughout the month or for the month itself that will be the wheel of fortune all right so um a little bit on the defensive side on the defensive uh side it is how you're going to find yourself throughout this month of uh, february at least according to my tarot and let's uh dive right into it so first two cards here are describing i uh, you as the individual or what kind of a um, standpoint you are to adopt for throughout the months with these two with the energies of the ten of swords and the situation itself which is the page of swords or you are going to be the situation in this particular case so according to these two cards what happens it is that the more you go into the month of february the more you are going to start say understanding or coming to an awareness awareness that I, a certain things has to change either into your career or either into your marriage it certainly you have to take but say you lure uh, rulership over it and simply do the tough actions and, and take the tough calls if you will so from one kind of from that kind of a standpoint you can say that this month is going to be revolutionary for you where you are going to establish say a a, a new era into your uh, career and into your relationship as well but the thing is that you will not gonna or you're gonna care less for what kind of circumstances you know your actions and your decisions are going to uh, have as an impact upon your say current marriage or upon your current career it is because for you itself anything that you can that you can provoke throughout the month it's gonna happen to be better than what it is right now so the, the suffice to say here with these two cards it is that you're gonna have it enough for um, having other people sway around uh, for much longer and this time around you would want to have it your way incorporated into your career and into your marriage now um, <clears throat> you should not be surprised though if uh, throughout the month and as you throughout the month are gonna have some sort of a uh, quite bizarre <laughs> is uh, is the word that I'm searching for quite bizarre ideas and concepts concept it is more accurate to be said and those concepts are not going to be unfold to a point where you can actually explain and kind of support them in any kind of a um, arguments now however those concepts are worth exploring but um i don't know how to describe it in english here guys um 
it's like from the milder standpoint that you are sitting for example in the months of january and in the months of december you're taking the strongest standpoint here in the months of february saying where well, enough is enough drawing certain lines which nobody will be able to trespass your husband or a wife you know your boyfriend i'm pretty much kind of like establishing your comfort zone it's not even a comfort zone but let's say your uh, your domain now uh, this alone uh, is to be forced upon you through most likely through a, a, a situations or circumstances that are gonna ring a bell within your within your head that something needs to be done in regards to your current relationship, future relationship, career, and so on and so forth. And you actually need to take the the lead here, okay? I, and do what it is needed, if you will, because the 10 of swords as an energy is exactly this escalation of, um, or, or, of pressing need, something to be, to be done and whatever happens afterward happens but at least at the end of the day you would know no different than for example these cases into the um into the high school where two people were liking each other okay but the, uh, these two people there for one or another reason reluctant to approach each other most likely for a fear of denial from the other right but with the ten of swords that pressing need to just explain yourself or show yourself or do what things it's it's just going to um stir the things through and you're not gonna have to suffer through it any longer and at least at the end of the day you're gonna know are you gonna be with that person or not gonna be with that person and it's kind of like it's gonna make you free so for such kind of a thing we are talking here is that you would want to see it through one way or the other than residing in it at that particular point and having no closure whatsoever so the next one it is the challenge that you will have to overcome and that is the challenge of the ace of swords uh, in that particular case the ace of swords here it does touches on your determination if you will and the spiritual strength how once again how determined you are to do what it's needed or to do what it takes in order to liberate yourself from the limbo that you may be finding yourself at throughout the months of february or in other words how courageous you are to put an ultimatum you had to back in the days to take the tough calls here and simply you know to confront everything you dislike into your relationship or into your career and if you don't have it your way you better not have it at all so that, that this is what that card it comes to and it likes mm, recognizing the, the the true value of the situation as well because maybe you have signed up for something that have been promised to you and the side that promised to you something they failed to deliver and as they fail to deliver then you should not feel obliged to move on with that side but instead demand of what what have you what you have been promised and if that not come if that isn't coming around then maybe it's time for you to go okay so all that needs to be taken under consideration because challenging as well is going to be um for you to how can i say it recognize the reality if you will because the eight because the ace of swords is all about placing an accurate diagnosis upon the situation and in reality you are finding yourself at and as a challenging card you still may be trying to deceive yourself that miraculously th the things are going to improve on their own accord which they want it is simply you have to do those tough parts where you either improve them or things either improve them under your uh, under your pressure under you pressuring them or they don't or they break and as they break you just move on so it's kind of like a uh, culmination that we do have here for throughout this month for you cancer where you either make it or you either break it career wise or relationship wise in literally in any field of your life the next one it is the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the months and that is the um, inner strength you are going to have with the seven of wands uh, you are going to be much stronger if you will spiritually and if you will resourcefulness as well from the rest that it is around you and you definitely will have i would say the power to um 
to force your ways through with uh, with that card. Additionally to that, as a gifts and blessings, the seven of uh, the seven of wands is about that nobody nobody will try to uh, do anything nefarious or surreptitious behind your back. Okay, so if there won't be any kind of like hidden moves that you have to worry about or traps that you're gonna have to worry about moving forward into the future as well. So everything is gonna be cleared in front of you, and you will know what you are standing against, and you will pretty much gonna know as well. You know what is in stake there but once again it is uh, for that reading it is not all about what is it, what is at stake but also it is all about what you're gonna left with once you know the cards are played on the table and even if you win something even if you say um kind of sustain your career is that really the career you want that is within the challenge within the challenge here that resides to be true to yourself what you want and is the person you are with giving it to you or is the company you are working in giving it to you or you will have to find it elsewhere now if they are not giving it to you once again uh, that doesn't mean that they will not give it to you, but you have to raise your voice about it and you have to be pretty damn clear that if they don't start delivering what they have promised to you, it will be no longer. So how people are going to see you for throughout this month of February here, we do have the Queen of Cups and people are going to see you pretty uh, unyielding and as well determined to have the satisfactions that you have signed for once again. So it's, it's a card pointing that people are going to see you, how you turn more into your inner um, fulfillment and start thinking more for yourself rather than for, I would say, the rest, which kind of excludes children because uh, this is their motherhood card. So people are going to see you placing the things in a, such a hierarchy, children, myself, everything else. And therefore, people are going to see you and that kind of an impression you're going to give to them that everything that displeases your emotions is no go in your life any longer. So if you don't like what you're doing, you will not gonna do it and therefore people will stop approaching you with silly things and stupid shenanigans here uh, that, or kind of like abusing your kindness as well for asking you to do things that you don't like to do that you do not want to do as well etc etc now on the flip side or from another uh, from another view with the card uh, you are going to understand who your friends are with the Queen of Cups, uh, meaning that those who truly uh, sees you as a good companion, as a friend, as a, a, a say, um, a true friend, okay, they are going to stick close to you and uh, as well, they are going to, how can I say it, start sharing certain, say, secrets with you or things that are very touchy, things that are very personal with them as well. So, um, that being said, those who are just in a casual mood with you and they don't really care of spending time with you, those are not good. This is how you are going to differentiate a true friend from a just a, a common owner, if you will. So this is also a month once again where you're going to find out or understand with a, a full force of reality who your true friends are. So next one uh, where we move on, it is uh, what is going to drastically improve your circumstances. And we do have a person here now that is going to be the king, the Knight of Cups, excuse me. So Knights of Cups as an individual, uh, Knights of Pentacles, excuse me. So Knights of Pentacles as an individual, they are people who really knows what, what they want and how to get it, okay? And they are very meticulous with preparations. They are very meticulous as well with, uh, with, with performance, if you will, which from a flip side makes them rather slow in advance. But whatever actions they do and they take is always supported by a very strong determination. So that being said, they every every time they do something, it has a reason behind it, okay? And for one or another reason with this person, you can kind of like form a cooperation and truly push through toward a certain uh, plans of yours or to manifest in, in um, yeah, manifest and succeed into certain plans of yours, goals of yours, you know, projects as well. If that's a uh, 
person as a suitor of yours that's great it means that they will not give up on you so easily even if you're going through this rather quite of a uh, warm hungry time throughout the month of uh, February where you will have to break with a lot of stuff and start a new endeavors as well with the ten of swords where a new dawns are going to take place on the expense of the old ones etc etc so that person is not going to give up on you and another thing within, with the Knights of Pentacles, it is that whenever you feel exhausted, especially energetically exhausted, it will be best if you start spending time among nature. That is something with the card here. The nature is going to make you, uh, is going to refill or recharge your uh, vital energies as well. Now, um, the uh, Knights of Pentacles also, it could represent jumping into the old branches of love. So maybe what is going to improve your um, circumstances is to allow to get in touch with someone you already knew and there is a, a spark in between you two. Now it is way too early to talk about reconciliation here, okay? But at least you have to give a chance that spark to kind of ignite a flame. If it ignites a flame, that great. If it doesn't, well, at least you have tried. So next one, it is what is going to deteriorate your um, your circumstances here into the month of February. Now we do have the Ten of Cups. And that is quite a peculiar card into this position. The Ten of Cups here points of the displeasure or ungratefulness one can has toward what, what one has adopted or toward what has one have at the moment. It is what I like to say. So the, it, it kind of touches the this a very negative trait of the human nature that no matter how much one has, it always wants more. You know, for example, take the billionaires. No matter how much billions they have in bank in the day with those billions, they can... Um, you know, secure the the lives of a seven generations or maybe nine generations after them. They always go for more, and it's remarkable how they are even willing to risk a lot by doing nefarious things about it. So that kind of a nature that card represents. Okay, maybe you have everything you need into your current marriage, and still you have more. All right, maybe you have everything you need into your career, and you still have more, and that takes place right after the ten of swords so you kind of like provoke the new era of your life and you just need to settle with it okay instead of jeopardizing it if you will with the ten of wands so whatever the results it is from your pressure that you are putting upon the situation you have to live with it otherwise more pressure is just going to you know break whatever benefits you can you can reap from all that transition that you're going to do throughout the month of february so last one here is going to be the guidance the tarot is offering uh, we do have the wheel of fortune and it really tells us only one thing it is that the month of february is going to be a month where you're going to have a, a lifetime opportunity once in a lifetime opportunity to make a drastic change into your life but once again as we saw with the first three cards cancer you have to be true to yourself recognize the reality gather the strengths you have in in regards to your spirit and determination and simply go forward you know don't be afraid to for example you know to ask for you know anything that it bothers you really because if you don't ask the answer always is going to be no so uh quite of a um i don't want to say stressful i will classify it the dynamic month stands in front of you you have a lot of things to confront from the behavior of your uh, say partner or a suitor to why you are not getting a promotion or to why you are treated that way into your career so you have to trade uh, uh, you have to confront all aspects that making you feel miserable and if they do not improve the time to break those aspects has come okay with uh, with this reading so a lot to do throughout the month of february cancer and hopefully you are strong enough to go through it and to see it through as well so that being said guys this was your a monthly tarot reading for 
um, February 2020. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.